<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome back to Underclock. Today we have a very budget-friendly version of a Spiral Combo for you guys. No Magician Souls required, but there is a little bit of some funky cards you have to play to get around that hefty, hefty price point. Starting off, three Spiral Super Agent, two Gear, one Quick Fix, one Drones, one Sleeper, and two Master Plan. The, how, the counts for these are a little bit high, um, specifically these two cards. Typically you might see two or just even one of this and one of this, but that's because of some other cards that we play in the deck. Um, and from my other combo videos, you go into Master Plan, two Master Plan a lot, because it gets them out of your deck, and also it gives you more fuel for Sleeper. Also, if you draw it, it's actually pretty good. So we're playing two in here. And that's it for the Spiral Monsters. Of course, Sleeper being the best Spiral Monster, being able to just pop cards on during your opponent's turn. Next, the best engine of the deck, three Scrap Recycler, one Beast O-Lion, and one Scrap Golem. So, in a lot of the combos, if you start with this card in your hand and it doesn't get stopped, you can actually pop off super, super hard. Um, there's a lot of cases where if you draw a Revival spell um, with your two-card combos, you don't even have to make the Curious. You can just straight up make an Appaloosa right there, which is really cool. And overall, these cards add a lot of explosivity to the Spiral deck. Moving on, one more monster card. We have our DD Crow, our engine requirement in a lot of our combo sequences that allow us to reuse our quick fix by going into the Lyra Lusk card. Continuing on to the spells, this is where it gets a little bit funky. We have three copies of Perform Pal Popper Up, three copies of Foolish Burial Goods, three copies of Spiral Mission Assault, and three copies of Spiral Mission Rescue. Now these cards, while they may seem bricky, are actually really good to draw in tandem with cards like Scrap Recycler. Both of these cards have fantastic two card combos with Scrap Recycler. So if you draw them both together and you don't see these cards to send them, that's okay. Um, and in this budget version, because we don't have as many ways to send like we do with the other build, we have to max out on Foolish Burial Goods. Um, I think even if I had the Magician Souls, I'd honestly still play this card at three just because it's so fantastic. Being a starter, if you draw your master plan or just any extender that you need, this basically serves as a revival spell. And it's okay that it's like multiple copies of it, because with your uh, with your Scrap Recycler, if you open Recycler in two of these, you can basically do a lot of the two-card combos that I have featured here on the channel. And then Perform Pal Popper Up is really cool, because it dumps these cards to the graveyard for free, it dumps your Spiral Monsters to the graveyard for free, if you have like other Revival spells, so it's really good. And um, I think this is probably your best option to replace Magician Souls as your consistency booster going first with this deck. Continuing on with the spells and traps, we have three copies of Called by the Grave. Clearly, we're playing a combo deck, so we want our combo to go off. And onto the revival spells, one Monster Reborn, two copies of Big Red. Um, this pairs really nicely, like I said earlier, with the Perform Pal Popper Up, giving you access to your spiral cards really early on in the game. Um, so even if your Popper Up gets ashed, it still gives you good value on that front. Um, we also have our one for one to go into quick fix. Foolish Burial to pair with Foolish Burial Goods. You open basically these two cards together. It acts the same as if you open one for one, which is really cool. And then we have one Rota just to keep our spiral count really high. Sometimes it acts as the spell that you need to pop for your uh, scrap recycler combos. And then a terraforming and a Spiral Resort, because these are also just more consistency boosters, because when this deck bricks, it's really hard to play. So we want to play as much of those as we can. And then the ultimate consistency booster, one Upstart Goblin. Playing a 39 card deck, get to see our pieces a little more often. Continuing on to the extra deck, we got our nice token, followed by our two Double Helix as the main focus of this deck. Without this card, um, the deck wouldn't have gotten off the ground in the first place, but now that we have other cards like uh, a soul and also other ways to dump our cards to the graveyard, we can actually bypass this card pretty easily, um, which is really cool. Some more engine requirement cards. We have the Scrap Wyvern. This card is really good, really allows the Scrap Engine to be useful in a lot of different decks as a one card curious, essentially, which is really cool. A lot of the focus or a lot of the combos go through this card. Um, and our big ender on most combos, Appaloosa. This is the one card in the deck that I think makes this deck not budget friendly at all. Like, if the rest of the deck is about, I don't know, 
fifty dollars then this puts it to 150 by itself but still comparing it to other versions of the deck or if you pick up this card because it's just generally a good card and you want to play a variant of spiral that's very aggressive going first this is a really good card to have and uh, you can play without it too if you don't want to i'll have another deck profile showcasing my going second spiral list that doesn't even play this card because as it's very apparent i myself don't even own it um continuing on we had more engine requirements to go with that try gate wizard Again, I don't own this card either. I've been proxying it mostly for these testing purposes. And then after that, we have Curious, the one of that we want to use with our Scrap Recycler combo to send all of our combo pieces. A um, couple Nightmares, because sometimes you want to discard the traps out of your hand, the spells out of your hand, which is really good. Couldn't really find room for the third Cerberus with all of the engine requirements that I had for the combos that I made for this deck in particular. But Unicorn is basically mandatory because the hands where you open Spiral of Resort, you have to make Unicorn to shuffle it back to get full value off of your Master Plan effect. Uh, continuing on, we have our Boral Sword Dragon because we can throw a bunch of monsters into it just to uh, go for game, which is really nice. Uh, Abomination is one of the ending cards on one of my favorite combos with this deck because um, this deck in particular loses really hard to evenly matched. So I didn't really want to invest too much into a board that can just get even lead. So as I showcased recently, there's a combo with Dweller and then you can go Dweller, Unchamed, Ab Abomination to pair with your Sleeper to pop multiple cards and just make it so your opponent can't get back once you bury them with uh, Abyss Dweller. Um, more discard outlets through Barricade Board Blocker. This card really makes the deck playable too. Um, and then IP Mascarena for the edge cases where this comes up. This is a really good, fantastic piece of interruption that's honestly pretty hard to bait out. Um, and then the, another engine requirement, uh, Recital Starling. The card's really good. Overlays your two level ones to get you a DD Crow. And then the last two cards that pair nicely together is the Abyss Dweller and the Puzzle Omino, the drop and deleter. So this card allows you, is really cool because, uh, requires two leveled monsters and then you take those two level monsters into this and if a monster is summoned to a zone it points to you can give it a level one through four or one through eight and so what you're always going to do is give it that level four or actually you know you could potentially give it a level one if you wanted to go into recital starling to reuse your quick fix again but most of the time it's going to be this level four to go into abyss dweller um and that really just facilitates the plays because honestly a lot of these combo sequences if you want to end up on the strong boards with like appaloosa and dweller to protect it like you have to at some point do that um and so using this card instead of trying to force two level fours has been very cool in testing and that's it for the deck profile um stay tuned for more guys i have another spiral list coming out soon going second that i've been testing a lot at locals been seeing a good amount of success with until next time this has been underclock